What is up everybody, welcome into this new video. I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial how to create a WordPress website without having to pay for an actual hosting in both domain. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the section called Pantheon. So Pantheon is an actual place that can be helping us to start by creating this line and using this server to start working not only into into WordPress but in other places for example instead of using GoDaddy, Acquia, Aux, uh, this one is going to be helping us to have the best platforms or markers for developers and of course this is totally for free. We do have here, they do have a free pricing and plans but that's totally depending on what are you actually trying to look for. For example we have the silver. The silver one is of course a free one that can be helping us. I'm going to hit now into the two free sandbox site. We have a JIT based test and live development. We have a free HTTPS certificate and there's some integrated content delivery network. So in order to get started, what you wanted to do is to input your first, the last name, your company name, the work email, passcode, choose of course these uh, specified options for your passcode, your country, you agree to the Pantheon terms of use and hit into sign up. Once you looked into Pantheon, as you can see, we are now inside the workspace, so we can start to create a new site. We can migrate an existing site or set up the actual team. What we wanted to do here is to create a new site. We have the, we now have the actual free hosting and the server. So let's go ahead and start with the actual new site. What I want to do is to type into create a site. This one is going to be taking us into the site editor. So whether you want to choose a custom upstream, the Drupal or the WordPress. In this tutorial, let's focus only into the WordPress. This one's going to be taking us into a built-in version control and developer workflows tool so we can use plugins thoroughly for free and we don't even have to pay for any kind of plan into WordPress. So here what I want to do into name your Pantheon site is to name here my site. I'm going to go for let's say for 435 I'm going to type 435, choose the region for the side of the United States. I'm going to scroll all my way down and look out for continue. Now, what we wanted to do is to focus and to just to wait a few seconds here. Sometimes it won't be taking a few minutes because the deploying of the CMS file, everything, all the tools inside WordPress is going to be generated for, by and for us. So just wait a few seconds here. Let's just skip this part. Successfully done, let's go into visit your Pantheon site dashboard. This one is going to be taking us into the site development site section. So as you can see, we have the development mode. We need to have this active. If you change that here, there's currently uh, no uh, get push mode for the development section. So we don't want to focus a lot into there. Let's just focus into the left part where it says visit development site. This one is going to be taking us for the very first time here into the developer side of a WordPress. So what you wanted to do is to start with the site title. So I'm going to click here. Let's go for Techpress. Here have my username. And here I want to choose and start with an actual new passcode. After I successfully done that, let's go and choose the same email. In the search engine visibility, you wanted to leave it like that. And here you wanted to install your WordPress. Sometimes this one does not work all the time because the username sometimes it just don't, don't work, the passcode does not work. And as you can see, it says the WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Our username is this one and the passcode is the one that we chose into the passcode section. So let's go into login. And this one is going to be taking us into the developer side of Pantheon inside the WordPress. So let's choose the same username that we chose before. And there we go. So as you can see, we are now inside the dashboard, but not into Pantheon, but into WordPress. So as you can see, this one says developer uh, fast forward slash techexpress 435.pantheonsite.io um, WordPress administrator section. So if you go directly into your plugins, you might see that we have just a few already added by default. We have the Hello Dolly, the plugin, the Asmate, and I can create. I'm going to hit into plugins. And here into plugins, what I want to do is to get installed a new one. So let's go in focused into bulk actions. Let's go into activate, hit into apply, or just look out for the one that says new. And this is how we can get started with our actual WordPress. So let's say that this is just a test here. If I hit into the plus button, I have the text here. I have the media file. I have the designs here. 
I have some widgets that I can add and I can focus in to add my very first header part. For example, let's say that I want to add a header and I have this cover, have this header inside foot width. I have this full width here. So I just drag and drop like this and automatically this one is going to be jumping me into the header section of my actual website. So now that we have an actual account, let's go and look out for published, hit into save. And if I hit now into published, I'm going to go into copy, go into a new tab, paste this actual tab, and make sure that my actual WordPress uh, website is actually working. So as you can see, it's actually working, says developer, and here is the actual name and we're actually good to go. So let's focus now into getting started in the plugins. If I go back into my WordPress, you might see that you have the plugin section. And here into the plugin, we can uh, switch here to the SFTP mode into the Pantheon dashboard. So I'm gonna click into the X mark. And instead of choosing the Git file, I'm gonna change for the SFTP. And this one is gonna be enabled all the development section of installing plugins without having to pay for an actual plan of WordPress. That's the reason why I told you that we don't have to move that part of the developer mode. So just wait a few seconds there. And after that, just focus into the business developer side once again. And then let's go back into our WordPress and go into plugins. And as you can see, we now have the actual version of the add new plugin. So if I focus into add new, I can see that there's actually a lot of plugins that I can add totally uh, for myself. So for example, let's say that I wanted to add the G Suite plugin of Google. And down here, you might see that this one says compatible to your version of WordPress. Really, really awesome to so go into the install now. The plugin should be added automatically. And then after that, you need to hit into activate. After you have activated your plugin, it's gonna be appearing in here. So I added the widget for Google reviews, for example, I hit into activate. And down here is going to be appearing the plugins that I just installed. For example, the actual trustindex.io, and it's going to be appearing in here. And then later on, I can add some examples here into my actual website, or I can install the Elementor um, section to get started with my actual WordPress website. So I have the classic editor. I hit into the install now. Let's go and look out for, I'm going to go for landing page. And it's going to be appearing, uh, let's say, for example, this is the light start, the landing page builder, whatever. All of the comes with the version that we're currently using into WordPress. So I don't need to focus and to worry about what I needed to create here. I'm going to hit into landing page. I hit into continue and I can use this template so I can get started with my actual WordPress. So creating and using these tools, these plugins is going to be helping me a lot, but really, really a lot to get started. And I don't have to pay actually for anything. So I'm going to hit now into build page. And instead of going totally from scratch, I now have a few plugins that can be helping me to get started on the actual website. So later on, as you can see, we have the maintaining page, we have the landing page here, book now, and here are all the elements. What is left to be done for in my case is just to edit the elements that I see here. So I'm going to click here. Let's say that I wanted to change this for Express um, videos. I hit into update. I hit into preview. I preview this into a new tab. And this is how it's going to be looking my website. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard to actually create a website with a free hosting, a free server inside WordPress. That's the reason why we use Pantheon.io if you want to upload or add more stuff or start to sell in here into WordPress, you need to upgrade your account here into Pantheon.io. So focus into your account and then into your account later on, you wanted to change the actual plans that comes with your account. With that being said, guys, I think we have now covered the basics of the Pantheon as well into the WordPress. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have fun here into your new Pantheon.io site. And well, I'll see you next time.